Hello viewers. So in my last video, I talked about using an Android phone as a call bell and I mentioned my reasons for that. Modern phones being, you know, so powerful, the possibilities are endless. So if you have not seen that video, I suggest you go check that out and come back to continue with this one. Okay, so let's start with the, the node rate part. First thing, uh, let me tell you what nodes or palettes we are going to need. Okay, let's go to menu, the manage palette. Okay, first thing is dashboard. So just search. And this is the one which you want to install. Next thing you'll need is cast. This node helps you to cast uh, I know, TTS voice or TTS sound to your Google devices. Again, next thing is to use Alexa devices we'll need. Alexa hyphen remote. So there are quite a few number of uh, versions of this uh, of this project Alexa Remote 2 but for me this Apple Strudel is working okay we'll start with a button the visitor who will be pressing the call bell will see that uh, on a phone screen so i've already created this button and already put it in you know diff separate tab which is called oh let me open this one okay and the group uh, uh, it's called hello visitor which will be visible on screen and it's under the door tab okay and the width is six units okay going back again the group is uh, six by six an icon i'm using is fa hyphen bell and i'm also using this uh, touch here to call a label so if i go back so if you see his icon and he is touch here to call and the label is hello visitor so this is how it will look in the inner phone screen okay what else uh once visitor presses on this button i want to pass on this message as a payload it says hello please wait while i call the family so this is the text which will be converted to a voice and this voice will be heard by the visitor okay now next thing we are going to do is we are going to pull in we are going to pull in this audio out node which is a part of dashboard okay so let's bring in audio out let's connect it so we'll select door tab hello visitor group tts value so i'll just go ahead with the UK English you can select anything okay once it's done we are going to our UI and I'm going to click it here let's see if you can hear hello Please wait while I call the family. Okay. A bit late, but yeah, it does speak. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to configure the Google Home device audio part. For this, just search the cast and it would be showing up in functions group. Pull in here. Connect it with the button. Okay. But we'll need 
change node i'll bring in here put it in between button and the cast node so every bit of configuration it can be done in this change node you can do some part in cast node but that, let's not complicate things let's do it in simply simplistic way okay first thing is you know i want to delete the previous payload because, because remember previous play, payload was yeah like hello uh, i'll inform the family okay next thing is we are going to set message.ip to the ip of the casting device and in, in my case it's a google home mini and the ip is 192.1 there next thing is we are going to set the language as well so message dot language and i would be doing english dot us and the payload itself so message dot payload would be the message which we want to play on the device so i'll say let's hi someone's at the door and period okay so there's three uh, things we need to configure along with the you know deleting of the previous payload and let's that done okay let me bring in a de debug node as well let me deploy again okay so now we'll just test out if cast google cast is working fine or not hi someone's at the door okay as you see it's working fine next thing we'll move to the alexa part for that as i mentioned we'll need alexa remote 2 and out of these nodes uh, you will need alexa routine now if you want to learn more about this alexa 2 a remote 2 i suggest to watch a, a video the link for which i'll put it in the in the description it's so let's connect it with the button and open it to edit first thing you need to do is uh, is a setup uh, alexa account again i'm not going to cover setting up alexa account uh, in the video it's it's explained very brilliantly so just go watch that part next thing is i'll just select alexa account select speak option or speak action uh what kind of speak or uh, voice i would like to do is i'll just stick with regular you can play around with these two also okay now text works same way as in the casting word type in whatever you want alexa device to say so to distinguish with the google let me put in hello here not hi but the rest of the message i would keep the same someone at the door full stop okay the next thing you need to select the device i have one echo dot in my home which is this one everything is done click the done button and the debug window and deploy now let's check how alexa works hello someone's at the door Hi, hello. Someone's at the Someone's door. Someone's at the door. Next thing we need to do is wire up everything and move to the mobile part. So you'll need this uh, fully kiosk browser. Just install it from Google Play Store. Let me open it. So when you open it, you first need to uh, configure it. I already configured it, so it's, it, it has opened the home tab of my dashboard. Just slide the screen from left to right, and it will show you the menu. Click on the web content settings, and the first option is start URL. This page will load first when you open the fully kiosk browser. Now you can keep it as it is, uh, the URL of the Node-RED dashboard, or you can enter the specific URL for the tab. In our case, it's it's the Bell tab. Okay, let's see other settings. Uh, go to web browsing settings. Uh, I will disable this enable back button. Uh, I don't want the visitor to go back on the screen. Rest of the things are fine. 
next you need to go to motion detection uh, it's a plus feature so you have to pay for it if you don't want that uh, watermark on your screen I just enabled it and uh, there are a few other things you need to check the sensitivity you can configure as per your need uh, there are other other features also darkness and all those there is one more thing uh, you can use for motion detection that is acoustic so it is based on the sound if you scroll down you find that option there and i want uh, the screen to turn on on motion that's all we have to configure in the settings now i'll go to the door tab now let's see if motion detection works so if i wave my hand the screen comes up and after some time when the screen is turned off if i make another motion it will come up hello please wait while i call the family so this audio out works good in chrome but and, and when i switch over to fully browser it doesn't work only thing i get is a, is a is a notification on the right corner i don't know what's the issue here if you know put it in the comments i found a way though so this is this is fully kiosk browser and i found that uh, even if it is in background it's uh, the motion detection still works so let's put it in background and uh, pull up the chrome so you saw that even if zipi is in uh, ZP, uh, fully is in background it still works i think that's a good thing so i can show this chrome uh, on screen put fully in background so that motion detection works and that should be good okay so let's play the pretend game i'm walking towards the door okay it woke up hello please wait while i call the family someone's at the door, someone's at the door. 